Welcome everybody, I'm J. Hart Ellis, and today I'm doing a special Xbox Builder Spotlight here in The Elder Scrolls Online. We're going to feature Brando Commando. I went to one of their homes last week, and I had a big list of their houses, and I popped in this, and I was like, wow, this is really impressive. And people were telling me in Twitch chat, all their out the rest of their houses are equally as awesome, and so I was like, let's make a special spotlight of this. So behind me is what I saw last week. I'm gonna I'm gonna just leave this here. I'll visit this house last. But a little bit of a theme to this. I don't know if they're all Star Wars themes, but um, maybe some of them will be. Maybe they're all just kind of in this style. But making awesome cobbles, creative uses of furnishings to paint a scene here within ESO housing. So you can see here we have a deserty landscape using the house. We have the Millennium Falcon. We have TIE Fighters. And I explored this pretty thoroughly last week, so I'll kind of end on that and come back here at the end, but I'm just going to hop into the next one, and we'll keep things fresh, because I haven't seen any of the other houses, so this is really cool, a little taste, I'm going to pop into the next house, okay, we're going to go to, so I'll end on that one, I don't know what the rest of their houses are like even, but I um, promise that they are awesome, Rando Commando, I don't really know much about them other than that they have a reputation for being an amazing builder. They are in the Cottages and Courtyards Guild on Xbox NA, as well as the ESO Grand Designs Guild. Not sure if they're in other guilds, um, but we'll just go and spotlight this and enjoy it, get some housing decoration inspiration, and you can do a lot with housing in ESO. You can get really creative with it. Uh, I always like to encourage people to think creatively, push boundaries, Maybe you can recreate things from, from other media or just make your own things. So we have our Brotherhood banner. I'll go relatively quickly through these today. Um, point here is just to kind of spotlight a little bit of what you can do. It looks like a lava field using the, the flowers down below. If I think lava, what am I thinking? I'm trying to think if this is going to be a reference to something, or if it's just kind of its own thing. Oh, it definitely looks like lava flowing here, yes? Awesome, awesome. What all had lava in it? Maybe, maybe... Indiana Jones? Maybe it's its own thing. Maybe it is just a Dark Brotherhood thing. I don't know if they're all pop culture references. It might not be. So if, if anybody here is in Twitch chat or um, if you're in on the comments and want to drop references, let me know. Let me know. Oh, what might it be? What might it be? I'm just kind of enjoying it for now. It has a very serious tone to it. River Sticks. Oh, it's a River Sticks. So we're, we're down in um, an after afterlife here. Is, is that the idea? Are we dead? <laughs> is it just me? Just me? River Styx is in Hercules. That's all, that's all I know about it. Hades? Is it? There's a game called Hades that's out. It's always intrigued me because there's a Minotaur in it. <laughs> oh no, I I don't know what to make of it though. I haven't played it. Is, is that a reference? Or is it really just a Dark Brotherhood reference? It really might just be a Dark Brotherhood reference, and it's just really done up well. Because this feels like Sweet Mother on display, with all the candles of silence and Dark Brotherhood sigil. I think it might just be a straight-up Dark Brotherhood thing. Which is good. I don't know if they... I didn't know if they were all going to be, like, the Star Wars thing or not. That's funny. We have a sacrifice. We have... <laughs> it's a little gruesome. Uh... Fun stuff, fun stuff. Yeah, this is the Ebonheart Chateau, which is a huge mansion, but this is all in the courtyard so far. It's been totally redone using the giant rocks, using the big elsewhere walls, and it really, really changes this. So I, I guess I'm getting just a, oh, I fell in lava. <laughs> the lava leaves. Uh, Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary of some sort, like a, like a hideout. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I like their custom planters here, using the bottoms. I can actually use this inspection mode element, which is a new feature they added recently with Firesong. You can see it's a Cold Harbor urn to add the, and then adding some flowers to it. Cool. Right. 
friends in Cold Harbor, as far as I remember. I really like the balance on this. Using the trees and just kind of incorporating them into the architecture with the ceiling here. That's a really... I love the way that the tree has been added in the corner. Very artistically done. The red lava are leaves. Um, vines? There's a whole bunch of them from the elsewhere home goods vendor. Yeah, dragonfire swath vines. <laughs> I actually have lava from the Galen achievement furniture, but it would be tricky to make a really wide path with it. Okay, beautiful. With the mushrooms, can imagine that those might be ground up for poisons or whatever. Yeah, a little bit of like an alchemical lab here. Okay, fun, fun, fun. And a big window. Love the use of that. Just using these support beams. And that goes down to the lava down below, which you see in the Ebonheart Chateau. So that really matches the interior. Cool, cool. Big custom multi-story structure here. Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. A little bit of a way to get away. Very intimidating. The lava. The lava. <laughs> okay. And this is all on Xbox, so uh, making something like this especially challenging, lining everything up and procuring the furnishings and crafting everything, it is always an especially grand feat on Xbox to see amazing houses like this. So we'll continue along with Brando Commando Spotlight next up. Hope I didn't miss anything too much. Now we'll be going through pretty fast. I guess it's okay if we get mostly a sense of everything here. Rale Vea, Iliad Ruins. Up next, quite a large home has some water on it. I wonder if they'll use the water or the interior more. Now on PC, you could tour them a little bit more readily too. Yeah, I'm hoping that they add a feature for being able to port to people's houses even if you don't have the direct link. That, that was actually a nice feature that they added recently, which is why I can even do this, is that you can link um, these houses in a mail, and then you can put it that way, but you have to actually get the mail for that. Oh, wow, big custom boat. Also, making good use of the water here. We have a Daggerfall Covenant ship, maybe? I always wonder if I see a flag, is it what it is, or is it a placeholder for something, so usually take things at face value until you get more context. Or the other way around. <laughs> oh, they even kind of added a little gate there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. They've really changed this up. They use fairly atraditional furnishings to make the side of the boat here, using the, like, the wainscoted walls or these large half walls, using some, like, that is a lot of these. Are they coffins? Let me see. Oh, they're, they're chest of drawers. <laughs> okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's definitely thinking outside the box. Gives it a different texture. Cool, cool, cool. I have a figurehead there. It's awesome. Ahoy! Wait, yeah, where's my ahoy? I have a, I have a pirate. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a pirate ship? I have... Yeah, I can be a pirate. I don't think it's a pirate ship, but I'll be a pirate for now. It doesn't work with the headphones, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. Good, good, good. We have a port city here. Oh, maybe it's like a private retreat. Like, we can kind of, like, sail in and then uh, do our business. Might be like a secret retreat here. Yeah, it definitely feels like it has a PvP weapons on board. There are a lot of furnishings that you can unlock by doing Cyrodiil AP grinding. A good hat. Yeah, it's a good hat. I <laughs> get resting on top of the headphones. That so doesn't sit on my head at all. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. As long as it doesn't fall off. Uh, happy girl. Oh, no, oh, wait. I need my, I need my pirate. Pirate buddy. Okay, pirate, pirate buddy here. Okay, good. 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 Good reminder. Okay, good. Happy Griffin. Yar. Something's gonna fall off. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, 
Okay, we have a happy ship. This is awesome. Really well constructed. So just thinking about how every single piece of the ship was added by hand here. Piece by piece. Very difficult. Very difficult to do this. Um, now, I, I say that, which is to say I'm impressed, but at the same time, don't be too intimidated if you're thinking of getting into housing. You can do this too. It's just a matter of practice and getting to know the furnishings and getting to know the housing editor, but you can make things like this too. It is a little, a little bit of a <laughs> two-sided two thing I had to try to balance with this. Brando is amazing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. So it's more like a captain's quarters here. I always, I always like to spotlight these types of houses to inspire people. I, I want other people to catch the ESO housing fever and be like, yeah, I have an idea. Maybe it's not to make a pirate ship or a PvP ship or whatever. Um, it could be to make a happy castle or or something like that. Whatever, whatever. Enchanted fairy cottage. Maybe you just want to make something totally weird, an alien world, a spacecraft, or whatever. You know, maybe something I couldn't even think of because it's that creative. <laughs> there are lots of things I can't think of. Do one of those. Smuggling in some camels here. Okay, continuing along. Brando Commando. Artiste. Artiste here. Oh, I like the kind of very small nature of the crew quarters here. This is awesome. Can I take a look at the button of the ship? Ooh, maybe a little bit. Oh, a nice balcony on the butt. Cool. Really well designed. Always makes me wonder if they have a particular process on this. It'd be fun to talk to them. Um, do they just kind of start with a skeleton? Do they sketch it out? I think everybody does it a little bit differently. Look at models of like uh, real life ships and things. Oh, I hopped down here. I don't know if I can escape. How do I get out of here? <laughs> I, I hopped down a hole. It's a little bit of a one way trip. Um, can I hop back out now? Uh oh, I'm trapped on the ship. I have become part of the crew. Wait, I can I can escape. I can escape right into the slaughter fish infested waters. Perfect. Oh, one more tick. One more tick. Oof. Oof. I'm alive somehow. I don't know if I want to be. Oh man. Okay. <laughs> I have I have stalled death for one day here. Okay, good. Okay, and then getting over into this area. It has pirate themes to it. Unless if Daggerfall Covenant are really just that bloodthirsty. As they're like preparing for war. Maybe they are. Maybe they all are. Um <laughs> now, this feels a little piratey. I, I I'm gonna go with this being kind of piratey. Yar. Ooh, I like the idea of adding the the bust on top of the throne there. Looks really nice. Really emphasizes the deathiness of this all, yes? Skulls everywhere. Fun stuff. Big elongated bench. It's really clever. I think that's using a couple of bookcases. Yes, a couple of bookcases just for the long wooden feature on that. Fantastic. Crazy creative. Nice. Big, wide fireplace. It's kind of classy. Again, using multiple furnishings to cobble that together. All the walls are custom. Uh, using a couple of, like, pedestals. Like Nedic platforms. Nedic altar there. Yeah, okay. Very tasteful. Um, impressive. It's really a very believable build, too. 
Like, everything is very creatively done, but it's also kind of like, you could imagine walking into a place like this. It would be pretty intimidating in real life. <laughs> like, why do they have so many skulls everywhere? They seem to have a little bit of a complex. No, this is, uh, absolutely fantastic. And I think that will probably be most of everything. I think we saw most of every everything. Yeah, what are ship commands? Uh, hoist the sails! Uh, clear the poop deck. Wait, wait, what do you, what do you have to do before you launch? I don't remember. <laughs> anyway, we'll sail off to the next house. Next up, next up. On the ship commands, I know I learned from Muppet Treasure Island. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, worth, worth a rewatch. Uh, maybe. That was all cliche, too. Okay, good. Okay, Brando Commando, Sweetwater Cascade. I'm just hoping his mail doesn't expire but before the end of the stream. Oh! So Sweetwater Cascade normally just has, like, a big house off to the side that you walk into, but they've really just used a courtyard here. Maybe the house is open, but... Uh, what? It seems futuristic. Big, tall skyscraper feel? But with, like, the metal everywhere, with the dwarven furnishings. I'm trying to get a sense of this. Are we just in, like, a modern city? Is this the future? <laughs> I don't know. We have we have like a like a maglev. Oh, that's cool. I have a big train. We're in the city of the future. I I, I think we might be. This is oh, I love the um, the way they've done this. Where yeah, if you use these beams like this, or it will look like everything is a very clear glass. Oh, there goes my pirate ness. Can I be can I be a Train conductor? I do have my choo choo. I have my, uh. I have my train emotes here. Train? It's a future train. It's like a magnetic train, yes? B bullet train? I love it, I love it. It's using those dwarven tonal arcs. Uh, you have to use two of them because they're just kind of like a, like a big, kind of like this shape. So you have to use two of them and then you get a nice circle. Perfect. Looks awesome, and I love how they've married this with the elsewhere architecture, where you see that in the background, that's how Sweetwater Cascades is is uh, viewable. You can see like the aqueducts um, in, in, in pass that in the distance, and so they decided to kind of lean into that by using elsewhere style furnishings inside as well. So we have elsewhere um, gazebos and things like that, and then kind of tying it together with this futuristic dwarven style. It's awesome. I don't know if it's like a sci-fi reference, though, or like a a gaming reference. It feels like it might be out of something, but otherwise it's just like really impressive, right? Well, I don't know if I can really get closer to this. I can uh, at least get a better view of it. I'll go open all those doors. <laughs> Using doors for this. Oh, and that's where the train will come through. I, it just hovers. I think it's a hover train. It's not like a magla. It's just like, it just straight up floats, like, between the portals here. This is cool. It doesn't have tracks, right? So it's very sci-fi. I love that. I love that. Or how, however it works. Mass Effect? Uh, it could, might, I'm not super familiar with that, but it might be something like that. I love the idea of a kind of magic floating train, though. Or not magic, but something close to it. And then this looks like a door to a city or office or something. I can't get in there. I really like how they use just the edges of the, the very top of like a tapestry. Often it'll have these kind of like uh, metal post. Works great for like a double wide door. So it uh, looks awesome there. I can't actually go in it, but it kind of has an illusion of having a big uh, city there behind. Crazy impressive. The vision on this is incredible. Um, I I would love to see. I mean, there are a lot of like professional artists that actually um, delve into uh, 
Yeah, so housing. I wonder if Randall Commando has some history with that. But um, just people have different ways of envisioning things, and it's just a matter of bringing those to, to life here. So incredibly impressive. Love the use of the big um, the glass from the Eleanor greenhouses there. Glass is more futuristic most of the time. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of like in awe, and it's just like, how long do I want to just sit here with my jaw on the floor? Uh, this is fine. Lighting is fantastic. And we're just merely travelers, merely passing through. Oh, this is too good. I will not really be able to come back and get... Let me get a screenshot. I'm going to indulge and get one screenshot while I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> because I might not be able to get back here very readily going forward. Okay, it's just... Do, 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 do. One, one happy little screenshot. Okay, I think that will have worked, maybe. I'm not getting my little confirmation rumble. Come on. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Let's keep moving along. Okay. Next up. Next up. Okay. That was uh, Sweetwater. Still what's up next. Oh, there's a lot of great houses here. A lot of big houses. A lot of potential with these. Okay. Continuing along. Special. Spotlight, Brando Commando on Xbox NA. Truly impressive. Twitch chat's here. Twitch chat, type an emote if you're loving these. <laughs> moo, 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 moo. Okay, Stillwater's Retreat has a big open ice lake. What will be out there? Big small forest. Okay, with a winding path revealing some sort of a building. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll follow the path and maybe take some peeks at this as I go. Oh! The architecture on this! Really impressive using all the windows. I'll get a sense of it as we go around. Oh, with a happy bridge over the ice here, that's nice. Lanterns and paths are a great way of directing your visitors so they don't get lost and kind of get the views that you intend them to see. And out here we have some sand. It's a little bit different. Wait, is that like a... Looks like a, a hockey? It's some sort of a game. Some sort of a game on the ice, yes? With nets? Unless if it's just for catching fish. I don't know. It feels like a little... Happy, kind of like a uh, playful hockey rink. Is that the idea here? Hockey rink? Okay, that's, that's what I'm guessing. And then, big structure here. Elevated. For a little extra complexity. Oh, it's like a canoe. It's clever. It's clever. Uh, there's a couple of these like merchant carts. Just gonna string them together, and it looks like it's an upside down canoe. Cool. I just love to see like just a couple of furnishings being used to like make something different. We have tiny little like tents. I have a horror story from. I went camping on like, it was supposed to be snow caving, but it didn't turn into that. And I was in a one person tent on a frigidly cold night out in the middle of the sinks, which is, it's called the sinks because it's where all the cold air sinks into. It was probably like negative 30 degrees that night. And I don't, I could have 
died. <laughs> but I didn't, and I'm happy about that. Anyway, that's, uh, that's my little trauma story. Anyway. <laughs> oh. Uh. Happy times. Happy times. Hope I'm well. Thank you. Thank you, Scoba. Hope you're well. I'm like double, double sleeping bags and like two pairs of pants. I was still freezing to death. Anyway. <laughs> I like the cold, all things considered. My happy little story. What's good in this? Like a cabin? Warm cabin. I need, I need a happy... Happy warmth here. Oh, that's cool. The dog has a little happy pad there. That's nice. Using a couple of these Merkmeyer candles, kind of layering them together, twisting them. Probably draws attention to the kind of art artistic curvature of it. Really well displayed in there. Great use of these alcoves. Very private. A lot of light in here. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I had a camp leader. I had a cabin up um, overlooking a lake. That had some big windows with a lake view. Reminds me a lot of this. Very beautiful. I'm just really enjoying it. I'm in. Feels like a great place to be in the winter. Yeah, there's a lot of the crafted windows. I'm so glad that they added those as an option, though. Like snow, hate the cold. Yeah, I, I'm kind of like that, too. I miss the snow. I've been in North Carolina a while, and I grew up in Utah, and so I used to snow a lot, and then... Doesn't snow here at all. <laughs> Hardly. That's ah, fun to go play around. Make a snow fort or a snowman or. Couldn't do a lot of snowball fights. We didn't get good snow versus snowball fights too, too often. Very dependent on the humidity. I'm a little all over the place. I'm just kind of nostalgifying here today, just enjoying this. Brother Commando has done such, just such an amazing job of making these places believable that uh, it makes me feel like I'm transported somewhere else. <laughs> so I just have to think about real life stuff too much. Oh, that's good. That's perfect. What I love about everything that you can do with this. Make this fantastical retreat, some crazy, valuable cottage out in frigid cold here. Seems like an additional house over here. It's embedded within an Elmer greenhouse, so its size is like contained. Oh, fun. Big bed. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ice skating. I've only gone ice skating like once. It was fun, but I'd love to go again. Wintertime activities. Very cozy, very cozy. Imagine some warmth coming in through the windows up above. Okay, fancy. Moo, 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 moo. Okay, good. Okay, brand new commando, still water retreat. Beautiful, beautiful structure Aww. here. Oh, spicy econ on EU. Nope, I just have the three guilds on NA. Okay, continuing along. Don't want to miss out. Panther Fang. Go on, okay, good. A little bit of a race against the clock because I don't know when this mail is expiring. <laughs> oh, that's like... I wasn't quite sure if I was doing this today, and I logged in and I was like, oh, I'm doing this today. So it's good. It's good. Panther Fang, big, big home. I wonder if they'll have you as the courtyard. 
there are some water features out in the courtyard, or the chapel is pretty large itself, so maybe they'll have used that. Okay, I will look for, well, follow the light. They've blocked off this side, so we're going out the back. It's not what I would expected at all. It's totally changed up into a, like a swampy feel. Water is quite the opposite of that. It's like clean, open, like pristine lake view. Okay, very swampy, swampy, creepy. I see some skulls here. Skulls everywhere. Are we going into a witchy area? Could be a sci-fi reference. We have a big boar thing. What might that be from? Follow, follow the big boar. The river sticks. I thought river sticks was the lava house from the first one. Mm, creepy. Spooky. I feel like I'm entering a dangerous place here. We have goats. I often associate goats with rituals. Oh, big structure. What? How How do they keep having these huge reveals? I love how they have like these paths that then kind of like lead to the architecture so that it really just frames this so well. I love the bright yellow windows. I'm not sure if they use banners for those. There's some like wedding lanterns you can use. I think they're big tapestry things that they use. I'll have to get closer. Could be the backs of paintings. We'll get closer. It's a little bit of an effect that they've done to make these windows so bright. It's cool. Spooky house. A little bit of spooky. A little bit witchy. Go into the spooky witchy house, but with a cool design. We have bodies. I choose to ignore the grave markers. <laughs> okay. I, um, I'm an invited guest here. Yes, I uh, am safe. I am granted safe passage. I'm not falling into a trap here. I don't want to know what everything here is. Oh, no. Great use of the environment. Well, they've done such an amazing job of making it creepy because I don't think of Panther Fang as being a very creepy place at all. Hey, what are the names? It's the... Uh... It's like a tiny little AD banner has the, the yellow design on it. Just wondering if I can kind of walk around before I enter in. Okay, good. Oh, I, I can go in through the side door? Uh, I'll go in through the main door. I see spooky stuff inside. <laughs> Don't know if I want to go inside. Too spooky, too spooky for me. Ah, spooky stuff. Oh, we do have a ritual. Perfect. Pentagrams, happy stuff. Okay, good. Laurent, what you summon in here? We're doing a timey-wimey ritual with the hourglass, maybe. Oh, I love how busy this is. We're like throwing all these ingredients together, making some sort of a concoction, calibrate everything just right. I feel like we are doing some nasty things here. I'm not sure, though. Summoning evil things. Could be that. Undoing mistakes of the past. Or causing mistakes of the future. The latter is much easier. <laughs> Alright, no. Uh, I really like... I, it's kind of funny. I really love the really bright pentagram on the, on the ground because it's just so well-constructed. Using, like, the edges of these, like, marble pieces. <laughs> uh, it's a little funny. Um, I love just how it's so densely decorated that it just looks absolutely amazing from every single angle. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I'm going to do it again. One sec. Uh, I need to get a screenshot or two as I go through here. It might become difficult once that mail expires. Happy, happy, happy little ritual picture. Okay, good. <laughs> Blue from above is interesting. 
Yeah, there's the, the like the Nimbus up above, and so that kind of ties together with the Abyssal Pearl down below, and then a little bit of contrast with all the red going on in the room. Sithis, Sithis things about creepy things. Okay, well, I might actually be most of what was in the. Oh, I didn't realize this. We have a nice little like deathy portal back here. That's full of full of bodies and skeletons. Oh, that's happy. Super high density of carcasses makes it more creative. It seems like every single... There's like four different elements. Wait, 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 wait. There's like elements here. We have like bone and darkness and blood and Fire. I don't know what. There's like four elements here. They're each different. Why are they? They're each. They must mean something. Loving uh, this occult house. Yes, it's it's very fun. It's very very um, happy. Like we're on terror. <laughs> uh, uh, we're in. I say her name differently every single time. Anyway. Okay, I think that will mostly do it. A happy, happy little ritual house to make evil things happen. Or, I don't know, maybe they're just making really punchy sweet rolls. I, maybe. <laughs> okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, uh, a couple more houses to go. Um, this next one. That's not... I'm in the wrong menu. Sorry about that. Okay, next up. Hands are being crazy using the back water feature of that just to kind of frame it. Minchuga Meadow. Only three to go. No, four to go. Kind of skip the first house. We'll go back to the first house and explore that Star Wars scene a little bit more extensively. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Happy times here. and sugar. Big area. It does have the ring of water around it. What will they have done with it? I have some wedding gazebo there. Might be a little happier theme. Maybe. All the tiles, all the walls, all of everything that you see out here has all been added. All the plants, everything's been added. Bit of like a Roman architecture to it. Oh, it's a golden cow. I like that golden cow up there. Yes, I, I see it. <laughs> my my eyes gravitate to all things cow. Grano has so many interesting ceilings in their builds. Yeah, they're just um, able to make everything top top down, right? Okay, I feel like I'm in ancient. I, 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 I don't know my ancient civilizations too much. <laughs> Let me know if it's more Greek or Roman. No, oh, they're s similar in aspects. This is cool, this is cool. I wonder if I can get over in that. This feels like, like, a we have a chariot. We have a chariot? Cool. What's what that old, long, very, very popular movie with Chariot Race? I never watched it, but it always was like, I knew it was supposed to be like one of the best movies out there. Ben-Hur. Yeah, Ben-Hur. <laughs> Gladiator. No, I was thinking Ben-Hur. Um... And then this looks like an attachment where, like, people could, uh, you could, you could climb in this and people would carry you around, right? Um, I'll start with the P. Uh, her is so long. Is it good? I've never watched it. I never watched it because it was like, palanquin, yeah, it could be a palanquin. Um, yeah, I think that's why that's the word I was thinking of. Well, the, <laughs> I've, 
again, I'm just kind of getting lost in, like, the references on this. Um, this is multiple furnishings to make this work. It's using multiple of those polished brass dwarven furnishings from the Reach, layering that together with, like, the, the, the table runners, the pillows, orienting this in just a way. It's using about 10 different furnish or about 10 furnishings total to make something recognizable and very much within the theme. So it's a talent, uh, it's an exercise in creativity. They've done an amazing job of it and I'm just gonna get lost in nostalgia. <laughs> the big open gold doors. Oh, this is awesome. The moo up above, I like the moo. Cool, cool, cool. I love the chariot again. It's using multiple of like the PPP furnishings, antiquity furnishing in the front, and, like carving away in. Big, big doors. Love that. Using the orchid seals, they have this really lovely gold back to them. You can just flip them around, just have the gold shining through. Fantastic, fantastic. Intrigued by the door. <laughs> okay. And then inside we have, I think more of a temple complex then, yes? The winged bowl. I do like that look for some reason. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, all my characters, even on Xbox, have the Minotaur helmet. Thank you, everybody that sent the most motifs to me as donations. <laughs> it would have been hard for me to get them otherwise. Okay, good. Elaborate palace. Yeah, it has a bit of a, a temple complex to it. Making offerings here. Very peaceful. Uh, it's very well maintained. Full of beautiful things, full of plants, and uh, high maintenance area, right? But beautiful, airy, and designed to last. Designed to last millennia. Is that a throne, though? It could be a throne. Can I, can I be the golden golden cow god here? Or is this just supposed to be for, like, the, the ruler? Could be for that. I, I do like me some thrones. I always have to sit in thrones. That's my calling here. Okay, and going out to the back, we have... A little bit more of like a, a livable area here. Or just places to socialize and craft and things like that. Cool. Put a lot of love into adding those seals in every single one of these little cubbies. <laughs> That's cool. Nice golden wall back there. Just tying everything together. So much attention to detail. I love that with the triple, the triple stairway up. Amazing use of the plants. Super well balanced throughout this. Even adding details up on the top there. They didn't have to do that. Amazing, amazing. Okay, and I think that will... All the I don't know if I saw all the details in the courtyard, but I think I saw most everything. Absolutely stunning. And just a few more to go. Okay, this was uh, Moon Sugar. Okay, Grand Opal. Big volcanic island with a big beach. What will they have done with it? They've been very surprising with where they've been putting like the main buildings on this. But this is always a good thing. Whenever you are looking at a house, is thinking about what part of like the water features or the 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 base features of the home you really want to include with your house versus um, whether or not you're just using it as more like a sandbox. That is some talent too. What is this? There's a huge thing in the background. There's, I feel like there's like a dragon or something there. Is that what it is? 
Well, there's also like a mine. Do I go in the cave first or do I go up first? The big skyscrapers up above? What is this? How? I'm gonna go in the mine first and then backtrack. This is wrong. We're, we're digging things up. We're maybe discovering things we shouldn't. Maybe. Maybe something has been disturbed. Okay, I'm gonna go back then. They, they have this here for a reason. It's like maybe a clue to what's up above. Oh, it is a big dragon. <laughs> is it? Is this a Game of Thrones thing? I try to think. I watched Game of Thrones. The... What was the name of the citadel in the capital city? Trying to think if that's what it is. It could be that. Like, very, very, very end. Mm, well, I'll keep getting closer. How close do I dare get to that dragon, though? It's a fun way of doing it. I like the wings using the tarps there. King, King's Landing? Yeah, the Red Keep of King's Landing. Is it, is it, oh, it's Dragonstone, not King's Landing. Dragonstone was a separate island, right? Kind of halfway up the map. It's Dragonstone, not King's Landing. Okay, that was... I don't remember seeing pictures of the outside of Dragonstone too often. Okay, that makes more sense, though. Oh, that's what the mine is. The, they were digging up the... On Dragonstone, they were... The dragon glass. Which looked like obsidian to try to uh, have weapons against the, uh, the undead peoples, right? Future to Watt in House of the Dragon, which I haven't been watching, so maybe that's why. Yeah, so, so the, the mine down below is for dragon glass, yes? Okay, that's why they had the geode exposed. Okay, okay, this totally makes sense. It's, it's Dragonstone, then. Okay, okay, good. So is this a scene from uh, House of Dragon or from Game of Thrones before then? Okay, catching references and now that uh, contextualizes this a lot more. Some sort of a cobbled thing here. It's supposed to be something. Oh, it's a dragon head. Oh, oh, it has a teeth. <laughs> Pointy teeth in the front. Oh, this is cool. It's a, a Argonian-styled kind of uh, dragon statue. Cool. Dragon head? Dragon heads? Using lots of uh, fringing for So using these, like, grave markers for the teeth. It's cool. It's awesome. Yeah, a dragon. Oh, I have a dragon emote. Uh, had that um, made for the... Uh, Elsewhere, elsewhere, lot of dragon, dragon emote. Been trying to add about one fun festive um, emote for each chapter. Like we have pirate for high isle. What will? Oh well, I'm hoping we had the reveal here recently, which is uh, it seems like the next 2023 year will be maybe Hermia's Mora themed. But where will that take us? We also have Debella from the uh, um, uh, event ticket stuff. So. Do you, do you ship Debella and Hermes Mora? Because I don't. <laughs> I'll pretend I don't. I pretend I do. No, no, no. What are we doing? Um, people still use the word ship. I never liked it. <laughs> I have two houses left, Me Mev. Uh, okay, fun. Doors. The great noodly one. Great noodly Hermes Mora. Oh, oh man. House, House of Dragons recommend, Jinkies? I ended up not liking the end of Game of Thrones, or I got caught up in the, the hate train for it, 
so much so that I kind of vowed not to watch any of the other Game of Thrones franchises, and I've stuck to that. <laughs> so, um, uh, are they are they are they better than the last couple seasons of Game of Thrones? Uh, sorry, sorry for uh, putting on the spot. Okay, okay, I'm just wondering. Okay, I'll, I'll keep going. Oh, there's more and more and more. I like how they use all the craglorn furnishings to add this, like, these sneaky sigils everywhere. Oh, yeah, it's it's the, it's the Dragonstone throne there. That's, like, really recognizable, too. Cool, 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 cool. You'd rather watch Rings Power? Mm, best ever with Hollow. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we have the dragons here. Oh, happy little dragons. Uh, is this supposed to be Danny? Maybe. Maybe. Was Danny in Dragonstone? Anyway. Love their room. Oh, yeah, I love I love how they've used the clockwork rocks here. They have a kind of a metallic sheen to them because that's how the background of this was because it was like embedded with the dragon glass kind of, right? So it was a little bit more of an ore-filled look to it. Okay, great, great, great. Oh yeah, she, she was there because she was plotting there. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. This is so... Oh, I just love how recognizable this is. I love it, I love it. Great job with the throne room, with the with the lighting coming in through the stained glass windows. Just really a bit of an intimidating presence here, right? And said I wasn't gonna do this too much. Oh, uh, no, 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 no! Must get more screenshots. <laughs> I, I, no, I said I was gonna go through this quickly for like a vod and stuff. But, uh, it's just too good. It's just a little too good. A little, it's a little too perfect. A little too awesome here. Okay, cool. Moo, 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 moo. Okay, good. Oh, there's more. Uh, there was a meeting room, and they had the, like, the map of the entirety of Westeros on on the table, right? And so they could track uh, troop movements and ship movements and stuff like that. This is awesome. This is awesome. I wasn't expecting all this. We have more dragons out here, too. Delightfully sticky ca eye candy. I know, I know. Uh, so, yeah, so you can see the entirety of the map here. Um, kind of like a lawn map kind of resembles England in a way. Um, I have to try to remember all the continents going up and down. Oh, no, oh, no. So yeah, they have different army markers and stuff like that. That's really cool. Using like the tops of bookcases. There, there are a couple different furnishings that have like the little wolf head or the dragon head on top, which is absolutely perfect for the theme here. Oh, this is crazy impressive. Just crazy, crazy, crazy impressive. What if I don't fall out the window? Can I invisible wall here? <laughs> If there's other um, references in here, uh, Danny ate a chocolate cake. I remember. Wait, no, maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe. Squid. Squid could represent the the Isles where the pirates were. I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I love how there's like all these different uh, shows and themes that are represented so far with uh, Brando Commando's builds, which is uh, TV shows, sci-fi stuff, uh, Elder Scrolls stuff, a little bit of everything. Things that they enjoy. I wanted to 
have their take on it here. Okay, uh, Grand Civic Villa. Go in there. Howdy, howdy. Doing fantastic right now. Finishing up Spotlight of Brando Commando on Xbox NA. So it's been a real treat. I want to thank them for inviting me to visit these houses. I didn't, I didn't anticipate this much. <laughs> it's like it's totally overwhelming. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. We're like at a snow. It has a kind of like a Japanese cherry blossom feel to it, but in but in winter. I love the color in here. The pink with the white is a little something special. I'm trying to think, Grand Cedric Villa would not have those mushrooms. So those mushrooms are added here. Not just like we're in Vardenfell. So... We'll go and look at this. Everything's very peaceful. This is such an interesting way of using the Grand Civic Villa as well, because it's taking you right straight down to the water, right? Um, and you can build out on that. But there's like slaughter fish in there if, you, if you're trying to, so making all this would be kind of difficult. Oh, they're at a big castle. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Oh, man. I have a little, a little relatable thing here. I love this sort of an architectural style. Um, way back on an old um, server. It's actually what... Uh, uh, oh, how much to say about this? One of the things that got me into ESO housing was that I saw parallels with Minecraft building, and I actually took part of a build challenge way back when. Um, There's a, um, a cool community that was putting on build challenges, and one of them was like a, like a, I think a Japanese gaming or a Japanese theme, and I made like the the bell tower from Pokemon, with like Ho Oh on the top of it, and it very much looks like this architectural style, but. This is so much more pretty. <laughs> so I, I, I like this um, a lot. I ended up making another Japanese temple down the road. Um, that was fun. I, I, I love this style. Style. I remember it was really hard to figure out how to kind of make like the little curls on the ends using Minecraft blocks. <laughs> so anyway, I just really appreciate this. It's so, it's so beautiful. Um, and... Very well constructed. Just absolutely amazing. And really incorporating water here. Beautiful lighting here in Arteum. Big custom boat out on the water. I love the the sail there. They used rocks for it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Yeah, and that ended up being one of the things that got me thinking about doing house tours and contests and things like that on ESO because I was just really um, enamored by the, the contest I took part in in Minecraft. I thought this is kind of similar in ESO, and nobody's really doing much with contests and whatnot. I'll do contests. I've done like 138 contests at this point. been fun and I think it, ESO is so much different as far as like being able to cobble things together and overlap things there's so many thousands of furnishings to work with you can really bring to life whatever you are picturing in your mind with more and more and more level of detail as the years have gone on which has been absolutely stunning I really think it's just this art medium that and do so much with. You can just really transport yourself to a different place here. And get up into this. Oh, look at the happy little bridges here. He's in the tops of the canopy beds. 
very peaceful with the waterfall. Don't want to go over there. I uh, don't want to go in the cold. Uh, oh, nice. It's majestic. A sort of power of some sort here. Is this a gaming reference? Let me know if you think this is a reference to something. It feels special. I, feel, I don't know. Zelda? Zelda didn't have Japanese buildings too much, though. So. Let me know if you have a thought on that, or put it in the comments. I, I'm drawing a blank. Obviously, something special about it. They have their Rathana de Renata music wall in the back there, which is just lighting this up so tremendously. I, I love how it's poking through the crystals there. Okay, and cold, cold, cold. Okay. <laughs> see the boat from the other side here. Moo, 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 moo. No? I don't know what that German word means. Uh oh. <laughs> Nobody else can see what I can see. Dang it. Uh, that's fine. I guess I'll allow it. Okay, I'll allow it. Let me know if that was a bad thing to allow through here, chat. <laughs> uh, anybody know German? Bad. Oh. No. Okay. Moo, 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 moo. Le oh, I didn't really look at this altar too much. Let's just enjoy the presence of this while I take care of some Twitch business. Do, 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 do. Do 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 Okay good. Last house, last house today. the joys of live streaming. Okay, good. Okay, Hunter's Quest. So I had gone to this house last week and I had gone to it, so it's not gonna be surprising. Everything else I've seen today has been a surprise to me. Um, but I did want to go back and watch, um, I'll see this with fresh eyes. Does I have a little bit of context on their style? That'd be good too. And has done several amazing Asian theme builds. So transformational and creative. So this isn't even all of these houses then that they've made. This is just a few of them that they wanted me to visit. A variety. They call it a variety, which is what it's been. Um, we've gone to... Happy Game of Thrones reference. Ancient Roman. Arena temple. More, more temple in the chariot area. And then, um... Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Just all these amazing, amazing transformational places. Just really using all of their tools at their disposal to take you to another world, to take you to another galaxy here, far, far away. Okay, this will be the final home, and then we'll wrap up for the for the VOD, and then I have more going on with this live stream, though. Hunter's Blade, perfect place for this. Star Wars theme, nice deserty feel to it. Has uh, Tatooine vibes. And... Let's kind of look at these speeder bikes. Doesn't take all that many furnishings to make something like this, right? It's just a matter of what are you putting where? What are your furnishing choices? How are you orienting them? So maybe you kind of have a vision in mind about kind of, you want a speeder bike. Maybe that's kind of what you start with. Or maybe you have to start to think about like what's even possible. Uh, and everybody has a different process here, but um, Brando Commando just has done such an amazing job of thinking through how to bring something to life here. And the scale on everything, um, everything feels like right sized and it's just absolutely incredible. We have a happy little 
market here. <laughs> we have we have Jabba the Hutt here with uh, Princess Leia. I made that joke last time. Princess Leia, maybe <laughs> eating eating the frog frog beast. This is fun. I like the snaky eyes that they have. I didn't really draw too much attention to that last time. It's using like the bottoms of some like vampiric bottles and then using like the crystal gives it that nice like pupil slit. The tongue using like the Nern, Nern crux vine there. It's cool. The moving tongue is awesome, I know. It's like Jabba wants a kiss. Jabba, Jabba wants a snack here. And we have the TIE Fighters, and we have the Millennium Falcon being chased by that. Amazing use. That's actually not a crazy amount of furnishings that they used for that either. They're just so perfect with how they did it. We even have the little dish in the front. I can't quite tell what all they did for that. I can tell it's a lot of Alinor, maybe a couple Markarth furnishings up in there. I see the, the sixth house table up in there. Otherwise, it's just uh, really incredible. Now, what, now I'm thinking about it. These look kind of small. That's that huge brass ball from the clockwork furnishing vendor. It's one of the biggest furnishings in the game. It's just so far out there that it looks tiny, especially with, like the big structural like, skyscraper things going on here. So, um... Oh, Laranthus Bib Fortuna. Oh, uh, maybe they're a... They could be a baddie. <laughs> could be, could be. <laughs> like the platform here. Oh, man. Um, yeah, she's not much of a Leia, is she? Um, and we have the Jawas. I remember from last time. <laughs> Little happy cloaks there with the beady eyes. Um, that's fun. Oh, that's a, little, that's, a little, that's a little Jawa doll. Oh, that's cute. I don't think I saw that last time. Oh, it's, it's amazing. They're selling scrap here, as Jawas would do. Jawas are too cute. There's more here, too. And we have a... Bantha? Big, kind of... Woolly mammoth-like beast that you could ride on. I love that. Love it. And just everything going on with the, the architecture of the, the city here, too. Uh, everything's huge. Uh, big structural far gray for the jeans. Um, perfect, perfect feel for this. And, you know, kind of the, that futuristic look with pipes and things about, too. Or, or sci-fi. It's an otherworldly look, right? And then, I, I love this. It's the... Uh, the uh, land crawler. It has a name. The, the the big the big ship that goes across the desert, and the, the robots got taken up into it, and the Jawas are in there, and it's a little intimidating. I always thought this was a little bit of a scary thing. Sandcrawler's the name of it. Sandcrawler, <laughs> the Jawa m mobile, <laughs> very, very uh, clunky, powerful thing though. What was a movie where they had these like chasing each other, going really fast? That was one of the later movies. Maybe that's Mandalorian. Anyway, anyway. Love that. And bones out in the desert. Absolutely fantastic. I spent a little less time on this final one just because I'd seen it last time. But, um, I, it's incredible. Um, I, it's just perfect. Just absolutely... Oh, I didn't look at this. Uh, it's... Uh, the land speeder? What, what do you call these? It's a... Like a little land boat. <laughs> Just to go cruise around on like a hovercraft here. Okay, cool. Everything floats somehow. Not sure how. Everything hovers a little bit. They kind of address that in the lore at some points, right? Anyway, I'll wrap up here for the VOD for YouTube. I think this was fantastic, absolutely amazing, absolutely surprising, stunning, hopefully inspirational. Hopefully you can kind of take some cues from this as to what you might be able to accomplish with your own ESO housing goals. 
and you know take it take a shot at it there's so many amazing things if you want more inspiration for anything ESO housing related i have thousands of pictures on my spicyeconomics.com website a uh, big gallery there with all sorts of things you can sort by house type if you want kind of inspiration on that front and beautiful amazing brando commando thank you again and they're in the cottages and courtyards guild and grand designs guild and fun stuff there a lot of talent on xbox uh, thank you everybody from the xbox housing community and absolutely stunning and we'll keep doing shorts like this on this channel going forward so have fun with the eso and stay spicy